Kevin, how nice was it to uh, sit and watch a fourth quarter, knowing that the guys, you know, took care of you guys, took care of business early, and was able to come out with a convincing W. Yeah, that's the best. That's one of the best feelings in the league when you got a nice lead and you can get some of the guys who don't get opportunity to play as much, get them some reps on the floor. Uh, families get to see them on TV, you know, it's the whole thing. So. Um, that's one of the most exciting times when you can you can get some of those guys some minutes at the end of the bench, um, and also just bounce back from a W. You know, um, you know every game is uh, it's going to be an opportunity for us to continue to build who we are and build our system. And I think tonight's one of those nights that uh, we moved in the right direction. How important is it was it tonight for you to still trust guys to shoot it and then find guys and then, and then them being able to knock down shots? Yeah, I think that's the difference between. This game, last game, the last two games, I mean, taking 20 plus shots, really not my game unless I really have to. Um, um, so tonight, I, I didn't take a lot of shots, but I felt like I, can, I had the ball a lot and was able to make plays and put my teammates in good positions and put myself in good positions as well. So um, I think we played off of each other tonight. EG got us going early. Grayson got it going in the third. You know, we was able to just, you know, move off of one another. And that's really what basketball is about. So. It's an exciting win, and hopefully we build on this. Lastly, uh, defensively, what do you feel like maybe was better than, than the previous? Not, not that you guys played bad defensively, but you get what I'm saying. Like, no, I think our first three games have been solid defensively. Obviously, you know, we're playing against good teams, great players. They're going to, you know, be great players and make shots over you and, and, and confuse you a bit. But for the overall, I mean, 43.5% from the field, uh, 104 points. You know, it's great basketball on defensive side. So. We continue that. This team last night, the team they won last night against a good Clippers team, hitting a lot of threes, offensive rebounding a lot, and I think we was able to control that a bit. And um, you know, also catching them on the back to back was good for us as well. Someone like Drew coming in, providing that spark, not only on defense but just in that attitude. What did you feel when he got into the game? Yeah, I love Drew. I love Drew's professionalism and you know how much he uh his intensity when he plays he plays with force on everything he does screens running up and down the floor finishing obviously dunking at the at the rim but he had a few nice hook shots tonight he's been making great passes in the system so we just got to keep building man i mean it's great to get a win but we want to keep keep getting better individually and as a collective Kevin, to your point earlier, it felt like you had the ball tonight just as much as Thursday, but did you feel like the playmaking and the flow of the offense was improved? Yeah, for sure. You know, just um, not forcing anything. I feel like I definitely forced a few shots last game. Well, not a few. I, I forced a lot of shots last game. Um, but, you know, earlier in the game, guys got it going. You know, I was able to pick and choose my spots a little better tonight, and uh, which opened it up for me. Uh, and, opening, and my teammates opening the game up for me, being able to get downhill, score points. Um, E.G. and Grayson did a good job of putting pressure on them. And then when Goody came into the game, he put pressure on everybody on both sides of the ball. So, you know, it's a great start for us, and we was able to cruise from there. When shooters and scorers like Eric and Grayson have a rough shooting night or two, you just know, like, it's coming, and, and it did tonight, right? Yeah, it's a long season. Guys work extremely hard their whole lives um, and to be in this position. So missed shots, you know, um, you know, it's something that we, we tend not, we, we don't worry too much about as professionals. This is the other stuff that usually feeds into you playing good on offense, which is being in your position, being a great teammate, just guarding up on defense. Usually when you, when you do the right things on defense, your offense will come around. And tonight we were solid on D. Uh, Kevin, can you speak to your time with Steve Nash in Brooklyn and just kind of what you learned from him and what this night yeah, Steve is a, a special player, a special person, somebody I got to work with since 2012, 13. You know, when he was just transitioning out the league, worked me out in the summer times. And then when I got to Golden State, he was a special consultant and came here every once a month to work, work guys out. And then obviously head coach in Brooklyn. So we spent a lot of time together. I got a number of respect for uh, who he has, is as a man and his family, but his basketball mind is just next level. You know, just the details that he goes through, um, you know, to get himself ready for, you know, his, his what, 18, 19 year career. I, f I forget how many years he played. I'm sorry. Uh, 
but his preparation, all of that stuff, you know, his story coming from where he came from, you know, Steve is an inspiration to a lot of people, and he meant a lot to the people here in the Valley. So uh, I'm grateful I got to see him tonight. And it was a long time ago, but to go back to the consultant work, do you remember your reaction and your thought when you first heard that he was going to come in and get to talk and work with a basketball mind like that? Uh, when I got to Golden State? Yeah. Um, when I got there, he was he had been doing that for about a year already, so... Um, and I had worked with him already, so I kind of I was excited to get it, get in a get in the gym with him. And it was he was teaching me a lot of different ways to score the basketball. He was uh, obviously a facilitator and a, you know operated the offense, but he gave me some great pointers on how to become a better scorer and set my cuts, uh, all that little stuff, man. So I love Steve, and it was great to see him. Always great to see him, and uh, you know a, a bright basketball mind, somebody I was grateful to be around. I know you're a big basketball fan, just like the rest of us. So what's it like when, if you caught the end of the ceremony at all, seeing, you know, those banners go up and just those players being honored? Yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, every arena I go into, I tend to look up and look at all the past greats and the banners that's up in the the rafters. And, you know, you, you know, plan for the Suns, I want to be a part of that, you know. And those people inspire me and what they did for this organization and for this city. And... You want to go out there and, and and represent just like they did. So it was great. Matt is such a doing an amazing job of just bringing everybody back and you know making this organization even more of a family atmosphere. So tonight was one of those big nights. I don't know if you caught it at the end of the first half uh, when there was like six seconds left. They were doing that review and there was a let's go D Max chant that went through the arena because they had just won. Did you guys hear that on the floor at all? Yeah, yeah, we heard that on the floor. The game was on pregame. Um, in the locker room, um, we're very excited for the D-backs. You know, World Series here in Arizona is going to be extremely fun. I don't, I don't, I don't know when the games start, but hopefully we can catch a game. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So. Oh yeah, we got some. We got a yeah, chance to. Monday, yeah, yeah. I'm excited about that. <laughs> I'm excited about that. And coming back one-one. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just watch from the sideline with my sunflower seeds and. <laughs> And, and enjoy the show, but I'm excited for the guys. You know they're coming back with a lot of energy, being one one. Is it two three two? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that should be. Yeah. That should be. Yeah, that's a that's a big opportunity for those guys. So I'm 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 excited for everybody in Arizona. You guys have the good seats for that Philly game, but for the wrong reasons. Say it again. You guys have the good seats for that Philly game, but for the wrong reasons, like the home runs. Yeah, yeah, I know. But hopefully, hopefully we got them seats reserved. Matter of fact. <laughs> Me and Book need them two seats again. <laughs> it might be tough in the World Series. I think so. <laughs> Speaking about facilitation, Last one. With, uh, you know, with how you open up you know, your offense, but how do you see Jordan and what he does? He scored a lot off the bench, obviously, with the most with Drew and did the same last game against the Lakers. What has he done to help beyond just being a defensive player? I'm um, just his fundamentals. He, yeah, he's a fundamental player. You know, you can trust him with the ball, not going to turn it over, make crazy plays. Um, that's outside of himself. And, you know, he's just going to play the right way. You know, we, me and Brad was talking about it on the bench, how fundamental Jay Good is. And <clears throat> he he comes down, hop steps on a pass, and makes a perfect, you know, chest pass to the guy on the other side of the floor. And, like, you don't, you don't see that a lot in the league, you know, the fundamentals like that. So, uh we're going to need him to be that pass on the defensive side, but when he get an opportunity to score the ball and be aggressive downhill on offense, we need that too. Thanks. Thanks, 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 sir.